and welcome to The College Life. We are recording in campus of Redlands Community College, an amazing college in El Reno, Oklahoma. We are here to help you in your college life. So if you are a freshman in college or a current student that just wants to ha find new ways to have fun and experience your college, then this is the best place for you. So sit back and enjoy us talking about our college life. My name is Caleb Holmes. And I'm Gabe DeGroote. And we will be discussing in this episode what TV shows are good for students. For the beginning of this episode, we are going to be interviewing a friend of ours, Mike Tabor. Then we will be discussing our favorite TV show that we watch, and a lot of people in Oklahoma, uh, Redlands Community College, he watches, and it is The Walking Dead. Is there anything that you want to share with us, Gabe, about that before we get started in our episode? The Walking Dead, not only is it a big, big following everywhere in the United States, it's a huge following here at Redlands. Mm -hmm. most, most of my friends here either watch the show or they know generally what's going on about the show, so I can have a conversation with anyone about it. Yeah. So if you like talking about The Walking Dead and you enjoy that show, come to Redlands. We'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Yeah. And for the people that are wanting to listen to this, there are spoilers. Catch up, we are watching six season, episode three, and the, we're releasing this a little bit after that episode. Still, I think that this is such a great episode in general in this entire season. That's why we're talking about this episode. And then after that, we were discussing, I think at least five or six episode or um, TV shows that we watch um, in our free time that I think that other students should watch. These episodes are going to be on Netflix or other websites that you can actually watch these for free. Um, so yeah, uh, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so our special guest today is Mike Tabor. He's a friend of ours, and he's currently one of my professors. Professor Tabor, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you guys? A little nervous. <laughs> no, I'm doing pretty good. So, Professor Tabor, I know that you've been here for a while, so I'd like to ask you some things that might seem helpful to us as students and also to the viewers listening. You ready? Sure. All right. First of all, what do you teach here at Redlands? I teach uh, U.S. history, both U.S. history classes and, and both uh, Western civilization classes, as you know, because... You were in, you're in the Western Civ class, and both of you have yeah. been in my history class. That's how we met. That's right. Yep. All right. Uh, are there any helpful hints that you might help us pass your, pass your classes or something that would make the classmates stand out in a good way in your class? Sure. Uh, I, I think one of the things that students must do is always try to attend class. That's, that's so important. And establish relationships with not just... Uh, your students, but also with your your professor. Get to know the professor. Uh, you know they're they're humans just like everybody else. And, <laughs> I mean that's how we got to to know each other is just getting to talk and, and finding out that we had things that we enjoyed uh, watching and doing together. You know, and uh, so getting to know your professors, your classmates, coming to class, take notes. That's really good, and that's where your friends can help. Because if you miss a class, and maybe one of your friends can, will have the notes that can, that you may have missed. Um, I mean, I think those are the. And read your textbook. You know, you put money into buying your textbook, so you might as well use it. Uh, <laughs> I know that uh, when I was taking your class, uh -huh. I used a lot of my notes. Yeah. And I can tell it with you, and you used a lot of your notes, yeah. especially right now oh, in your yeah. class. Yeah, the notes are the big biggest thing. It, it mm -hmm. really is real important because <clears throat> you know, I, like I think I said to you guys, uh, you know, probably 70, 75 percent of everything I talk about is in, in the book, but I also bring in outside resources, and so do other professors, so it's important to take notes. I completely agree with all that, you know, it's, the notes definitely help me in the class, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, a big one. Uh, if you were a student taking a class, how would you study? Well, part of uh, what I would do is um, get your... Uh, Form a study group or study, you know, get study buddies or something like that and to get together and, uh, you know, have a little study sessions so once a week or once every two weeks. And, and that way you could share your notes and, and talk about the material that, uh, that you've covered. And, and, I mean, one student may have something in their notes or heard something that the other student didn't. And just by talking about it, it, it it really does help. Uh, I can't tell you the number of students over the years that have that have formed study groups that they've they've been successful. 
That's that. I think that's a key. And, and study, not try not to cram everything in in one night, right? You know, progress along the way and, and study a little bit uh, along um, as you go. I remember the very first day of class with your class. You're like, this is the hardest class you're ever going to take at Redlands. And I was like, oh, God, this is going to suck. And, then, <laughs> and so that's when I was like, I was taking my classes and I took took the textbooks and that was a big yeah. help the notes and the textbooks were the yeah. biggest thing and the fact out. that the two of you guys probably yeah. worked together and, and mm -hmm. stuff oh yeah um that that probably helped too yeah because I, I remember you know for a while there he would hear something and you know i'd be like oh man that you know and then the thing he would hear that i didn't just have to be on the test so yeah. you know if i hadn't asked mm -hmm. him about it yeah probably especially would. christian the guy that's editing this podcast he's uh mm -hmm. we met him there and we took like we yeah. helped taking the test and then we helped study and it was, yeah, yeah, helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and then something else too is, uh, again, you, when you're if you're studying along the way, uh, you know, progressively, then if there are things that need one of you got or something, you could always ask the professor. And that that's something else. Don't don't ever be afraid to email the professor and go by his or her office um, during their office hours, and, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that they'll they'll help you. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I remember like email and I was mm -hmm. like I asked you I was like should we email him because I was like this is a really simple question like is the mm -hmm. test like today or tomorrow and eventually you guys did <laughs> yeah eventually <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right uh, you know, a little more personal question but uh, when you were going to college what did what did you go there for well actually I, I started uh, my college here at Redlands um, I came here to play basketball and I was going to go into uh, I wanted to be a dentist <laughs> And so I, first semester, I, I took, a, you know, English comp and uh, history and those classes, but I also took chemistry. And after my first semester of chemistry, I changed my major. So, <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history, so to speak. I, I you know, I had a really dynamic uh, history professor and, and, kind of, and I'd always liked it before. So I uh, moved my focus towards education and... Uh, that's the way it was, it was all from that point on. I didn't know. That's really cool. Did you uh, live in El Reno? Uh, yes, I, I did. Um, while at school, I you know, lived in Oklahoma City, um, but I um, moved in and a bunch of us basketball players had a rented an apartment and had a good time. Yeah, and, that's really know, cool. Yeah, it, it was it was interesting. <laughs> so, did you you went to college here, mm -hmm. and did you go to a university after this? And after that, I went to uh, UCO and okay. got my bachelor's degree in education, and um, then I taught it uh, in Putnam City Schools for a number of years, and then I started adjuncting here, and then got the full time job. Been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was gonna be my next question. I was gonna ask how you ended up here, but. Yeah, I've been here for 24 years, something like that. Yeah, I was a young guy then. <laughs> and you were still teaching the, uh, you, you teach government. What, what else did you teach I, I at did, that time? I, I've taught not only history, but I've taught government classes. I've taught um, even a personal health class. <laughs> yeah, I was on online stuff. I did that. I think I did a yeah, theory of, of basketball class, also an online class. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's enough. <laughs> oh, we've done some seminars too over the years, like on World War II and the 1960s, and all sorts of stuff yeah. like that. But uh, that's, yeah, I haven't talked government in a while. So, when you first came in here, did you did you were you teaching U.S. history? Is that what you were? Yeah, that's what I was about? hired to do is teach U.S. history. And so, you taught U.S. history in um, high school as well? Uh, no, actually, in uh, I didn't teach in high school. I actually taught elementary. Really? I, my uh, yeah, I taught fifth grade for a number of years, and then while I was teaching during the day, then at night I went to grad school at UCO, got my master's, then started doing adjunct work at, at night. I got my master's in uh, history and uh, started doing the adjunct thing and part-time, and this job came open, and for very, very fortunate to get it. It's, uh, I, I love what I do. Every day. I, I, I can honestly say I can't think of a, maybe on one hand the number of days I haven't, over the last 20 some odd years, I haven't wanted to come to work. I really Man, do that's enjoy really good. it. Yeah. It's awesome. I think we're ready for the, uh, the second part of our podcast.